everybody um, so the industry academy uh, for me it is like a starting point and end point it's like a bridge um, so it will start somewhere and somewhere but it's not going to connect the dots so and fortunately our sakshi energy has also said that it's a triage government has also been included but i just wanted to add one more component it is actually a square or a rectangle it's it's four pillars industry academia government and the startups we can't ignore startups in this ecosystem that's something i strongly believe and also if you look at the overall the the economical growth globally or even for country like india uh, three key things that comes to my mind growth digitalization and efficiency right so i think when we look at 2047 the higher education report that was launched by uh, fiki few months back or even you look at our national educational policy the growth digitalization efficiency is going to drive overall ecosystem so how do we achieve that is what the discussion should be all about and fortunately uh, fiki is organizing this event uh, so i would like to touch upon two experiences one is fortunately i come from the pillar of uh, industry i was a former chairman of nascom as well uh, played a cxo role in few multinational companies i run a private equity I'm part of a startup and also in the board of few government uh, ministry of education and so on and so forth so that gives me a, a very clear uh, uh, direction uh, on two 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 such ex experience i'll share one is about uh, our startup ken 42 which we started few years back uh, today although it was an edtech startup but today uh, we have got totally moved it as a platform a platform company so we have understood connecting the dots is very very important in terms of uh, industry academia incubation so that the three eyes comes into picture in all these four pillars uh, so innovation incubation investment i think these three eyes are going to be part of that will drive all the four pillars the industry academy government and startup so this uh, ken 42 we we created a platform that and, and and incidentally that's been backed by a couple of our uh, academic partners academic institutions who were our customers actually helped us to think through and create this platform so we created an edtech platform that moved us a platform now that is getting moved us and a uh, platform that's going to be, uh, uh, tie up with a lot of communities uh, C sr so on and so forth so this one typical example how a startup should think through not just only making money and valuation for the investors but also thinking through the whole uh, ecosystem the second experience is from the public private partnership where i'm chairman of one of the premier institution under the ministry of education uh, so where when i took over as a first chairman created by the board um, under the ministry of education i found a huge gap between industry and academia connect when i say there is a huge gap the actual connection is there but collaboration doesn't exist so that's the big challenge so what i have actually initiated along with the support of the board of governors uh, so we created a committees that in every committee it could be a faculty selection committee or it could be an appraisal committee for any committee we have involved very consciously the industry leaders as part of the committee along with the few of the academic leaders that's something paved as a very very uh, successful uh, in terms of uh, the, uh, uh, the the placement in terms of the growth of the institution in terms of the admission process in terms of the ranking of the institute thoroughly we were able to see some uh, good traction we also created as per the nep we created pop professor of practice uh, so where uh, seven of the top fortune 100 companies seven leaders already been working as a professor of practice they may not be phd but they are uh, uh, very very hands on technology experts helping the students and the faculties to drive the ecosystem the third initiative which we have taken is uh, a semester long internship so today i very proudly can say some of the uh, not most of the students in second year third year students Uh, having the internship with the with the prominent companies and able to get about 75000 to 1 lakh rupees as a internship uh, 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 no fees or an internship income that that they're earning so the semester long internship really helpful for us and also uh, cooperative degree programs so these are the few changes excuse me which actually helped us to transform uh, uh, the the uh, the academic ecosystem uh, i would say so if you look at overall i would say uh, uh, in the interest of time the uh, teaching learning uh, uh, emphasis the faculty focus on research is very very important so the last board of governors meeting where we have actually decided to ensure every faculty member must undergo an internship in one of the organization in one of the uh, industry so that's another conscious decision we have taken uh, as an institution uh, and also collaborate with the industries and research organizations consistently and we also uh, started working on we created a strategic advisory group involving uh, senior industry leaders some of the academicians and and also from the government officials where we started creating the, uh, the the facilitate the need gap discussion not just for the students and faculties but for the whole ecosystem i think some of these initiatives really helping us uh, still it's a long way to go but i think uh, zero to one is always great right so that's what we are trying to do thank you for the opportunity god bless thank you